Wow, that's really pretty. The sun shining through the trees like that. It's really pretty. All right, cool. I'm gonna make the uh, the wade down there. There it is right under there is where I saw a steelhead last year. It is very, very low. This is nothing compared to, like it was a foot higher when I waded this in steelhead season. Don't go where I went, it's very deep. Go to the right. Yeah, I don't know what any of this is, it's weird. Really a weird setup, man. It's like you wade in the middle of the river all the way down this canyon. I didn't film it, but Cole kind of went in over his waders at the beginning. And uh, there's a big deep spot there. You, you just put your head in the water. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> All right. You good? You need any help? Let's see, is there fish? I see one. I see two. That is not, do not, I do not want to have to fish you out of the river and explain that to your mom. There's, oh, there's like five or six right there, more. There's like... You can't cross it by the same I don't like to get Well, you could, but like you're not going to be able to, you're gonna, you won't be able to do anything if you hook it. <laughs> okay, sure. Just go for it. That's so good. Look at how deep that is. That's it's like interesting to watch them while it's down there, though. Like, it's literally... It's a quarter ounce big. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, there's one right I mean, you're right in the middle of like four or five. Honestly, I just want to take my waders off and like jump off this and go swimming or something. <laughs> yeah, I would not. Okay. If you hook one, we have no option. I, I will not go down there. We'll exactly. <laughs> Don't move. Stay where you are. Do not try and run down the cliff. I'm going to go get the net, throw my waders off, and swim out to get that fucking fish, okay? This is what we're doing. Give me two minutes, I'll be there with the net. I've got insanely low camera battery here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film this, but I'm gonna go try and net Cole's fish. I think I'm gonna try and just step onto this underwater rock outcropping. All right, where are you at, Cole? Can you bring him this way or do I need to go in? Kind of under the rock again there. I'm leaning out as far as I can. He's too far though. No, I don't have, I got him, I got him, I got him. Yes. Oh my God. That's a way to land a fish. Here, just take the uh, jig. All right there. It's one of the weirdest fish I've ever landed. Let's see if I can make it back over without falling in. I don't even know how I did this. That is the most ridiculous fish I've ever landed for someone. Let's get her going. All right, I put a new battery in the camera. Cole's up there fishing again. He says there's fish going after it again. I actually think I'm gonna keep these waders off just in case I fall in and uh, just fish from there with no waders because I'm already wet anyway. See if I can get some of these fish. It's funny, Cole is sight fishing, or rather spotting my jig as it goes through these fish. That's hilarious. He said one of them really looked at it. They're still here. Cole was saying they left and went downstream, but they're coming back and forth. Yeah, it's really not completely terrible, but I'm so serious, Cole. Be is so careful. And, uh, and this is not solid, but it's good enough that you can stabilize yourself. I can do this. If you get to here. Oh, I'm wearing my mom's skinny jeans. This is not good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, yeah, you're past the worst part. It's all totally fine now as far as I can see. The only reason why I was yeah, sketchy about it is just, I don't want you to hit that rock. Yeah. Oh, I just had one take a run at it. Yep, 
Absolutely. And another one. Oh my god. I don't know if one of them might have just been... God, those are big. Like, a few of them are huge, Cole. We've spooked them so bad, but a few of them are huge. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I just dropped my jig in there and they just went nuts. Like, we've spooked them so badly. I can see a chum, I think. Are there chum in this river? If there, no, there's chum. I can see a couple of chrome chum. There's a couple of fish with like vertical lines that are very obviously chum. I'd be amazed if we hook one after spooking them this bad though. Yeah, there is a small one that looks like it might be a trout. Man, there's some big ones in there. Some big chum as well. Do you want to repeat what you just said? It's what? glacier about it about this being glacier oh, cold. Oh, this is um, this is pretty much glacier water, and it's also just an ice cold creek even in the summer. So don't do it if you don't want to. I am gonna do it though. <laughs> As usual, extra special thanks to this month's tier threes. And I know there was only one fish caught in this video, but the next one is going to be the polar opposite. One of my best coho days from the beach, or rather in the float tube ever. So stay tuned for that.